Hello, hello. <coughs> A ver, test, test. Ok. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> First message in chat today. Resubscription from Mike. Thank you, man. Appreciate your support. <coughs> hello, Romario, too, on chat. Ok, so for today, I have planned a little talk about initiative and then we can try to play one league with Newton's latest list with Saga again <laughs> I'm not a fan but we will try I will show you guys what I've been doing I've been up to last days been, we've been trying some um, ETB cancelling creatures like a Proctor again and um, Fastbringer <clears throat> but yeah the outcome has not been the best for me Okay, um, a ver. All right. So we'll show you guys from 69. All right. Okay. Mm. So this list, what do we have here? <clears throat> of course, we have the minus one Bosage in favor of one Savannah, two plus Y, blah, 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 blah. Trying the Hasbringers here. The problem with Hasbringer, for me, it's been, <clears throat> in theory, it works very good against, like, Painter. <laughs> but that has not been my experience <laughs> in, real, in real life, aka leagues. Yeah. Doomsday, man, I, I really like how... How active your Discord is? One a friend of mine is very active in the Doomsday Discord, and he's always telling me, "Wow, we are this guy is trying this or this guy is trying that." So I think that's very, like that's a very healthy community. That would be sick, right? Imagine we play Hasbringer and then we <laughs> we tutor. I mean, we can tutor it with Saga, right? Or it's non creature. Can Saga Tutor uh, Dreadnought? Confirm. <laughs> okay. I've been also playing with Nettle builds. Mm. My concern with the Nettle list... This is the latest I've been playing, by the way. <clears throat> um, I got advice from Jorg, what, who has been killing it, by the way. Um... um He's, uh, he's uh, up there in the trophy race. <clears throat> so yeah, be careful, guys, with uh, our friend York here. Also, like his range is extremely insane. Like he can play from, you know, Doomsday, Reanimator, uh, Taxes Elves, and probably I would say Green White steps proficiently. So yeah, very nice to see. Um, your up there. Um, I think Mike is also up there too, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> there is, there is. All right. So, uh, okay, let's go. Let's move to the um, info information part first. Mm, should be this. Perfect. Oh, this is the this is the song, the Brazilian song we were listening to. So, if you like it, here is the link. Uh, Romario. Um, vale. So first I want to talk about the last two challenges and the results <coughs> and the meta percentages. So first we have the 24th and 25th because as you know guys we have a Super PTQ coming uh, Thursday on Legacy. So I think this is definitely interesting talk for anybody who is planning on playing or is interested by, by this. Um, on the 24th Disclaimer, we are on all access pass period, so this means everybody people can play whatever they want. Uh, so that can warp the meta a little bit. This uh, something similar to this happened when 8 cast was booming and during some weeks um, everybody was playing 8 cast because uh, Kappa was like so Kappa, Kappa, Kappa Canyoneer was like 1 million tickets. 
and uh, you, some people can could only afford it um, through um, through the all access. So you see Kappa here. At, at some point, it was on. Hey, Kalum, nice to see you, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I actually need your advice for today, so it's good that you tuned in. Welcome, man. I actually met Kalum at the ELM this week, this year, and in Bologna, and it was. It was awesome. <laughs> I really enjoyed. No problem. No problem. So yeah, Kappa at some point um, was like one, one fifteen, one sixteen ticks, and then it dropped. Um, they, of course, MTGO, you know, they mess up with this. Like they, 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 they put another um, promotional version. They increase the chance of the of the chests, whatever. But this is what happens with car when cards are too too high. They, you know, they change things so it's more affordable. But right now, um, White Plume is like 20 and Seasoned is like 8? It's 6. It's still dropping. So, yeah, so the deck is becoming more and more um, affordable for people to play online. But still, I would say a, a few days ago, it was still pretty high, right? So, you can see. Maybe 70, 60 ticks per... Yeah, yeah. I played. I think the other day I, I sent a screenshot to Discord where um, half my matches were initiative variants um, through four leagues. So that was yeah, too much. Um, so yeah, the, um, you have to take into account here that the, the um, so all access pass is um, active. So these numbers might not be hundred percent real, right? So on the twenty fourth, we had twenty. Delver 22 white stompy. This is amazing. So <laughs> this means it literally passed, went past Delver. And yeah, so the mo most popular decks are White Initiative Delver, Reanimator. Should be Reanimator? It's not. Well, it's up there. Reanimator, Elves, Green White Depths. I think Green White Depths, this is this was like a, a weird event. Um I think I think Green White Dep uh, pilots are really like faithful pilots, but I don't know. I don't I don't think anybody is picking up Green White Depths to a spike on an event, right? So this is usually very dedicated pilots. <coughs> we can check who who was playing actually. We don't have to guess. Initiative busted mechanics. We will get to that too. So DNS Solver, by the way, he took he took down uh, both events. <laughs> so congrats to him. Uh, didactic usual player of Greenway Dep, uh, uh, DNS Solver too. Um, I don't know this one. And Sole, I think he's also usually on that, but I could be wrong. So yeah, check those metagame percentages. This is very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's usual to see to see the meta in Swift. Um, Changed so much, so definitely very interesting to see what happens from from this from this point. Sunday it was even more impressive. So Sunday we got, like the I guess the white stompy white stompy players were pretty happy. Okay, okay, got you. So I guess the white uh, people who pick up white stompy were pretty happy with it and and stick to it. So uh, meta percentage was around you know twenty two twenty one. So. But there were players, it plummeted, right? It went down to 12%. And check it out. So Elves, I think... So Elves is recently being picked up by a lot of people. And since um, we're not um, differentiating versions, let's, I would say there are two different decks right now, but um, all the Elves variants are clamped up on the same... On the same um, um, Metagame analysis on this uh, on this project. By the way, shout out to the um, legacy. Let me just let me just shout out them. Copy link address. This is their Discord. So if you want to join, uh, I will follow. Good evening. So if you want to join them, you can support them through Patreon. Um, uh, that everything they do, we do, <laughs> because I am involved also, is public. So really, yeah, if you want to help, 
there's a way to do it. Uh, so yeah, so Elves is still not um, differentiated, but you can see it, it. It has really been picked up by a few new pilots, I would say, because I think it was pretty successful on Eternal Weekend Online. I think it put three copies on the top eight or two, I think three. And another deck that is uh, doing quite good on this, you know, unexplored or unre unsolved meta is Reanimator. I think it makes sense because it's, if it can, you know, quote unquote scam you to run, it can get, it can, you know, it doesn't care about Rian, it doesn't care about um, initiative. But I'm surprised it's doing this good even with, um, you know, because initiative decks are playing some, some variants are playing for plow for solitude main. So I'm very surprised. Exactly. This is this is the next thing I was going to um, to tell. So if you if you take the if you take this data without um, context, you say, oh, what's Stompy? Twenty two percent of people are playing it, but look at the win rates, right? The win rates are really poor. It's a uh, it's below fifty percent both days. It co it's consistently below fifty percent during the um, Saturday and Sunday events. But you have to think uh, what we mentioned uh, previously, right? First, the all access token is on. And second, a lot of new, I don't know, new. The deck is new, so who is a master of this deck? I cannot tell, right? Probably Callum and XJ Cloud, <laughs> Omi, <laughs> and uh, I don't know who else, right? I would say those three names. I don't know. But what I mean is the deck is still being uh, sold out. So a lot of new players picking it up. And with the all access token and the multi format grinders uh, having one week to prepare for the Super PTQ on, on Thursday, I think a lot of people is just jamming. The white initiative. So um, yeah, below fifty percent. I definitely think this win rate is not accurate. This deck, this deck's win rate is way higher. This is just you know mm, people who are mm, maybe not familiar with the format or the um, decks. The patterns are picking up, picking it up. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I don't think it's gonna be twenty. But I think it's going to be neck to neck with Delver. Like I could see Delver always spikes uh, during sub, uh, big events. Like if we go to. Uh, if we go to my file. One second. Okay. Let me collapse this. Well, actually, I don't want to collapse this. Yeah. Right. So. One second. So if you see here on all the super PTQs, look, at, tempo is basically Delver on um, Delver variants. So super P, when, it, when there is a super PTQ, 30%. Showcase, Delver, 32%. Showcase, Delver, 25 uh, If we go even, even back, more back, oops, uh, 26. 25, 25. So Delver oh, is always, always super, super popular. Let me fix this really quick. So Delver is always super popular on big events, as um, Callum said. Yeah, exactly. But what I, what I think is very interesting is where, where does the, um, where is the population coming from to play the initiative play, the decks, right? So I think some part is from the multi-format grinders that usually pick Delver because so this the, the profile of this player is like very dedicated but to winning. <laughs> so they don't care about the, the deck and they maybe just pick the deck that they think that is best. <clears throat> so let's say he's not a legacy enthusiast who has been casting Brainstorm and Daces and Wastelands for all his life. This is most likely a multi-format grinder. That is that he he plays legacy to, to a good level, but he you know he doesn't that he's not particularly attached to any deck, and it's not deciding to make the switch to White Stompy. Another deck that is obviously missing here, and the percentage is, is gone down a lot is also taxes. So I think a lot of taxes players are going to White Stompy just because you know they are white players, and they have they can play they can cast Talias on a deck that is tier one tier zero probably. Um, and what else? I think probably a lot of um, Stompy. 
Exactly. Yeah, but I think, but I think um, ta tax ex pilots are feeding this percentage, and also, um, so I think, I think some aid cast like people who like, um, I can see, uh, um, I can see stompy players like people who really like to um, that that kind of play style move to white stomp to um, to initiative like for example. Um, mon mono red in uh, well, eight moon or um, eight cast and taxes. I think and Delver, Delver, but with this specific profile that we mentioned, right? So that there's that. Let's analyze a little bit the win rates of the deck. Mm. Oops. Here. Okay. So we scroll down. Funny enough. White initiative is the last, so <laughs> that's very good for me. Really easy to search here. Okay, so let's see. Elves ha had a positive matchup against White Stompy. I don't think these numbers are really well. I'm an elf player, if you don't, if you don't know, but I think the the matchup is really polarizing. And with seven matches of sample size, I would say, like I wouldn't say the matchup is this is this um favored for elves, especially if there's the Nettle version and they're playing Archon. Of Emiria because some you know some some variants of uh, white stompy feel be feel worse against elves than others so yeah there's some flavors there that you have to take into account. Mm, green white depths having positive win rate this is also this is also surprising to me I I am not a green white depth expert but I know a lot of lands players have dropped literally dropped their deck like Ali um, shout out to him by the way. Yeah, to play white initiative because the the the, the, the meta field are um, very um, hostile for lands right now. So these numbers, I think, I think this is, the, you can showcase here that maybe I don't know, the, maybe the monster stompy play, the, the white stompy players are are not very experienced and the and the green white players are very dedicated. So we are probably looking here at very 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 experienced, a very very high. Um, skilled green white depth players against a population of white stompy or white initiative that is learning the deck. Okay, makes sense. I just, I just, um, you know, my my initial thought is, okay, it's a, it's an eight plow deck, right? So <laughs> it can be really rough, I think. But yeah, so we, we we will have to ask to somebody who has more experience. I can probably ask Rodrigo in the in the um, how he feels about the matchup because he has played it both uh, both sides. So I can probably ask him. Um, Delver um, ten four in favor of Delver against the White Stompy. I don't think this is. I think the matchup is way 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 closer. So I think here we can see what we mentioned, right? The 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 people who decide to stay on Delver are, pro are probably dedicated Delver players who are very, very proficient with the deck. While the white initiative population is more new to the archetype or the lines. So I think this is because if you if I've been watching content from both sides and uh, people say it's quite close. I think, of course, I think everybody will agree that um, both uh, Delver and White Stompy are, are right now contenders for that. Um, Best deck in Legacy at the moment. Uh, what I don't see here is my two other <laughs> stars, painters and Cephalid. So let's see how Sunday went. Because I really want to talk about those two. Okay, White Stompy. Okay, White Stompy, let's analyze Elves. Okay, so here you see White Stompy on Sunday. It was a uh, favor to White Stompy, so again, a lot of variants there. Green White Depth 3 3. Omnitel, okay, this is interesting. Show and tell, I think it's good. It good show and tell and the likes, I think it's good position against the Stompy, so this, may, this makes sense with my initial thought. Blue Red Delver 5 3 against the Initiative, again, you know, quite close. But I don't see any Cephalid or Painters. Painter 2 1. So where have you been, Callum? You have not been registering lately? <laughs> uh, okay, so I think it's no secret that uh, Cephalid and Painter have a good initiative matchup. And I think the reason is basically they can combo you to the last turn, right? 
So it doesn't matter if you are at one life or 20, they can threaten always a combo kill and they have a solid plan B. Painter is a pain in the ass with the Furies, Sagas, and now the Phyrexian Dragon Engine for value. And Cephalid has, you know, Caldra, uh, really big constructs, and it can threaten the combo through. Uh, Illusion is Shuko, Illusion is the um, Nomad, so it's. The, I don't I know. Plus, it plays Force of Will, right? Painter is favored, but I think Initiative is so powerful. Can, can I see chat here? Probably. Painter always favored. Yeah, I think Painter is really good. Yeah, I. But I think it's because it plays Force of Will, right? So it has the it has similar attributes to um, similar attributes to Painter, as in the plan. You you have a solid. Um, your plan B is super solid, but you can always threaten the combo kill. But Cephalid has on top of it. It has the Force of Will, right? Painter has a, a better Derber matchup. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was watching. Um, by the way, sh shout out to. Can I give a shout out to Anurag? Yes. So shout out to. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, Anu, who single handedly made the coverage for the Eternal Weekend. And I was following this guy who made top 8 on the Cephal on the Cephalid de uh, deck. I don't remember his name, but man, that was a masterclass of patience. That guy had the combo like multiple times. I, I, I saw him play this same way in multiple games. So he had the combo already, but since he was not losing on board, he wouldn't go for it. Like he wouldn't commit any resources until he was actually losing on board. And that was really amazing. I don't know. I think <laughs> I don't I think it takes a very Patient person to do that, not everybody can do that. So yeah. Um what else do I want to talk about really really fast? Yeah, that is possible, but I mean if you look at the whole tournament, I think it was it really paid out. Um another thing I want to give a shout out to is um this uh, article. I will link it in chat now. So it's um, um you know you know uh, Joe Dyer um he, you can follow him on Twitter I think it goes by Bolrat but let me get his profile it's Bolrat XP so this is he, this is his Twitter handle and he sometimes from time to time he makes these uh, roundtables where he you can join. Oh really? Oh my god, okay. Can we ban this bot? <clears throat> One moment, let me clean the chat. <laughs> Let me mod you, Mike. <laughs> okay, you should be mod now. Okay. Um, what was I? I lost it. Ah, yeah. Joe Dyer and the roundtable. So he usually makes roundtables that um, they are f uh, were free. Of course, they are free. But anybody can join. Anybody in the community. If you follow him and, you know, you are up there, up to date with the legacy uh, community and whatnot. Uh, he usually makes like a call on Twitter. And if you are interested, you can you can join the roundtables. And I think this one, as you can see, this one was crowded with, um, I don't know, interesting, smart people, very respectful people. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know some, but I, I know most of them. And, um, you know, you can read. I don't, I'm not going to go through it. But uh, you can see here the um, different points of view of many people in the community and who play different decks and so 
Yeah, you can get a feel of how people think about the initiative um, mechanic as a whole, I, w- I would say. Okay, so with this, we wrap up the, um, I don't know, the information. Um, go to actual magic. A ver. Yeah, so what I was saying, I was, I've been trying the um, stop ETB creatures, as bringer proctors with different variants. Not really, I was not really happy, <clears throat> not gonna lie. Um, I felt they come in too late. Like, so if they already have the initiative, the, like your sequencing has to be really specific. Like you have to, you have to deal with the first initiative creature because they are going to play the initiative creature before you play your two drop. Doesn't matter if you are on the play or on the draw. Then you have to kill it. Um, then you have to play your stop ETB creature and and protect it or hope it doesn't get removed. So I think that those are too many too many things that has to go right for you um, for the Hasbringer or Proctor to work. I've been discussing today this with Newton and you know he's still I think he's still. He still has faith on the uh, on the Hasbringers and Proctors. I don't have that much faith because, yeah, as I said, um, I think everything has to go right for you. I cut Torpor Orb from Painter really quickly, by the way. We have similar ways to get them in play, too. What do you mean, Callum? Uh, oh, of course, you are trying to address... Yeah, of course, of course, of course. But for me, you know, for me, um, for elves specifically, um, Painter is a is a really really bad matchup right now. Thanks, Callum. <laughs> um, b- but I think that's like pre- it's not it's not it's not the priority right now. <laughs> what do we we should be hedging, right? So after some discussion with Newton, I came up with this. We rather we came up with this rather. Um, so I'm going to try the saga that he's been, you know, being on and off from last week. Uh, sa- for saga targets today, we will have the lantern and the needle. But I think so. The 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 spice or whatever the new thing for me is going to be the dismember. Uh, so I think the life life loss can really matter. But if we are already willing to pay for for snuff out. I mean, for me, Snuffout has been very good because the um, initiative decks, sometimes they try to scam me. Like, uh, I've seen sometimes they keep some hands that are like no initiative creature and they just uh, rely on double solitude turn two that will carry the game and then they will maybe, you know, play a Jailer or uh, hope to top deck the initiative. And if you snuff out the... um, the solitude with the evo- um, in response to the blink. Wow, th- that is probably game. Painter is underplayed. Of course, I agree. I don't, I think everybody will agree, but I don't think everybody is able to play painter on a proficient level. Like uh, I think both painter and cephalid are super good position right now. So if you are, if you have the n- enough skill. Or I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody. But if you like, if you could play any deck at super high percentage, mm, ah, okay, Newton. So maybe if uh, what time are you starting? Maybe I can raid you, guys. That would be awesome, actually. Yeah, let me know. So yeah, Callum. I think if you could play any deck at at a proficient uh, level, I think you um. Y- it's a good call to play Painter or Cephali right now. Oh, half hour from now. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I hope. I thought you. Yeah, you usually stream a little bit later. I was planning on read you, reading you. Okay, so I will play just a league and then raid Newton and and Dukes. So I don't want to overlap streams with them. That's a. That's a good content going to waste. <laughs> So let's let's jump into a league. Um, I'm not sure about those numbers. Personally, I'm not very really comfortable to, with 22 lands. I know you don't likes 
his um, high land count, but I, I am more um, in favor of the fifth orc. <clears throat> but yeah, but it has its upsides or, or downsides. The, what is no question right now, I think, is four snuff outs in the 75. And I've been quite happy with three in the main deck. I think as long um, while the initiative is around, probably three will be in the main deck, and I think Newton agrees. But um, we were discussing this today, and it was a really nice discussion. I am um, the, the this this super um, fast evolving of the meta game made us forced us to add the snuff out to the main deck, and I think this is going to stay going forward. Uh, on Bologna, I played two in the main deck, and they felt really, really good to steal some games, game one. Actually, <coughs> actually, um, I've been playing a lot of Delver players who are going Grixis, I think, to play the snuffs exclusively. And I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know how much they need the four the full set of volcanics but yeah that's it that, that, it's uh, i don't know maybe it, uh, i know cutting fetches is a scene in legacy especially if you're playing brainstorm but definitely the snuffs snuff right now is broken free, as newton says free spells are broken and uh, free removal right now is on a premium so yeah let's try this list and a leak let's go try to go fast and uh, so we can raid our friends uh, newton and Dux. Okay. <clears throat> Where? Okay. Anybody likes this playlist? This is the link. Oh, I, I'm just, I'm thinking just now. I hope we don't queue into Newton or, or, du or Dux. My God. That would be terrible. Okay, not the best start. Let me just type in the name. So as you know, guys, I keep track of all my games. So let me just add the names and then I, I, we can take the mulligan. <laughs> so what's the name? It's, okay, let me just copy it. Mm. Eh, vale, perfecto, perfecto. Okay, let's take the mulligan. Ah, that's nice. Nice, nice. I'm sure, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure Duke would be delighted to discuss this. And you can also, you know, m m make for some artisan. Um, Discussion. Ah, uh, this is very, you know, very risky. But I think we keep, right? We go down to five. I think we keep. We have one draw step to draw a land or ones to improve the hand a little bit. Let's see how that works. Hmm. Okay. So no, no, not the initiative. Maybe eight cast. Okay, <laughs> nice. So I hope they play one creature, so we can use the snuff out, and then I can um, reclaim the bayou out. At least that way I cash in the snuff. We'll see. Oh, by the way, a little news on the impact returns. Um, my friend David. He's going to have the, a meeting, I think, this uh, Friday or the, the next week. So probably for January, we will have the, um, we'll have, uh, the exact dates for the impact returns of uh, 2023. Hmm. I don't know what deck this is with CT and Saga. So... And I don't have the I, I don't have uh, any um, previous match locked against this opponent. 
painter with city? Yes, I know. I can tell you the month column. It will be end. It would be end of July, most likely ninety percent. So I hope you guys bring in a, a nice crew from UK. Really? Wow, I've been out of the loop then. I, I haven't seen the, the the cities. Yeah, I talked to Julian and he told me what the hell. He told me a, um, a very good advice, which is I should be making like um, a travel traveler's guide where I can, you know, I can suggest the, the best ways to get to the venue from the two or three uh, airports that are nearby. So I think that will make people more, you know, if you give them the homework done, they will probably be more um, happy to come. <laughs> yeah, so I will, I, we would, I'm going to definitely put some work on you know, okay, so it's painter. Uh, we will put some work on you know improving the um, the media and the information to get to the event because I know that's our weak spot actually. Yeah, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Hmm. They don't attack with the goblin. I almost want to snuff the goblin out here. To be honest, because it gives them mana, right? I don't really care about three damage right now. Let's go, Romario. Let's go. You have to call me, man. You know. I mean, I don't really like snuffing the token and taking three. <laughs> we take seven in one turn. Uh, if we do the reclaimer. Yeah, we need lands. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this. I mean, they're they're not attacking with this. I, I think they are valuing this more, so I'm gonna take out the the shaman. Oh man, it's true. What am I thinking about? Hmm. Did they miss a land drop? Lord counter. So they played. What were they? They played Saga, City, Tomb. Tan chalados, tío. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. Damn, I hate it. <laughs> we, don't, we can't play anything. Hey, Miracoli, thank you for your subscription. Welcome, man. How are you? Almost one year now. Let's go. Yeah, we didn't keep the, the strongest hand for Painter. I mean, I, I, I already said the matchup is quite bad. I think I should have snuffed out the construct. I don't know. This matchup is terrible. <laughs> I see painter I want to concede. Really? Uh, the matchup is so bad. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They get the construct. We take six. Hey, hello. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing, I, I I can't make the decision here right now. This is free because we well, it saves us one life, right? Because of the other token. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm not a fan, but so we can rotate the 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 bayou, but it feels so bad. So if I was to snuff the shaman, I should have done it pre-combat so they didn't get the the treasure. Mm. 
No, no, because that's exactly 16, 16 damage. Um, so three attackers without buffed reclaimer, it's 16. <laughs> I thought I thought about that. The, the the problem is we are we are losing all our mana comes from the cradle, right? If we had one more one more mana, we could we could trample them. Oh, let's go. Tres, cinco. I don't know if they could have they could they they have bolt, right? I... But it's not nineteen, right? Oh yes it is. Well not with the goblin. Okay, so you meant to to save on the trample damage, right? Okay. I I was pretty lucky. Not gonna lie. Maybe it's the Calum Miracle. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. So you, you said you mean keeping the snap for the combat phase after I cast the hoof. So I can take out one blocker, right? One effective blocker. And yeah. Okay. So this is a good a good moment. We have two minutes for sideboarding. What do you think is the best way to sideboard here, Calum? Because I Mm, you know, we have had this, some discussion on the Elf Discord. Um, do you think it's worth for us fighting on the uh, graveyard with the endurances on that axis, or that's just worthless? So, okay, so since we are already on the Saga package, um, I think I'm bringing in the Soul Guy, the Needle, and the Progenitus for sure. Ley Lines. Yum. What else? No, I, I I can't have everything. Ley lines? I don't think so. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Even less when Defiler becomes available online, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Because they can. Yeah. They can just name black and make it useless. Makes sense. Plague Engineer. Quite good. Yeah, the filer. Everybody was buying it on my LGS. Okay, so how do you feel about maybe this and we can cut one shepherd? And I think probably one of each BFF because I think we don't have time. Do you agree with this sideboard in Newton? I have 40 seconds. You could old blast. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You know, if the when the painter master and the elf master tell you to cut it, you just cut it. If Eiler is the three red black five four that vindicates, exactly. And they can weld it. Oh, this hand is, is just bad. This member, you think? Yeah, I know you mentioned it today during our call, Newton. You're right. We're going to probably go to game three. So This is a mulligan. Okay, this I can work with. We bottom hoof. And we keep a hand that can maneuver quite nicely. Okay. 
<clears throat> Is the music too high, guys? Or maybe it's just this song. Sorry. Saga. Okay, so I didn't know they played two cities. Interesting. A lot of fast mana. So let's lead on ones. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I know I have to pick the cradle, right? But... Because we already have Ramping Greenson. Well, we're gonna, well, we have the BFF. Yeah, I think we go for it. So I'm going to lead on Bayou, Ramp. I mean, if we can, if, I think if we can empty our hand, this will be a good game. This hand is pretty well balanced. Hey, Star Fox. Hey, man. Happy holidays to you, too. And I have to uh, get back at you. Um, I have to get back at you regarding the um, the gym training. So I have some I have some some things to send you if you are interested. Oh yeah, the Magus strategy. True, 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 true. So double double mistake, right? Because so we have answer for Magus in this member, and I didn't fetch for basic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to have green source. Nice. The name black. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's gonna be a little awkward, but I think I I want to secure the 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 green first before something bad happens. So I think I'm going to just play the BFF here. Mm, I think right now, yes. Mm, mm, my argument is because Nettle builds are also ad adopting. Oh. Yeah. But they have. Oh, because it, you mean if they play another Soul Land, right? Yeah. I guess that's the power of painter. Dude. It's true. We're just dead. Yeah, they're not they're not they're not uh, no no no. You're right. I didn't see that. Yeah, GG. Eh, uh, yeah. Actually, that was pretty heads up, right? Because if I, if I, yeah, no, 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 no. That was, but I mean, if you played artisan, you'd win. Well, they have one blocker, right? Yeah, he will see you the painter, and you have a twenty twenty. Yeah, I'm not just not familiar with. I I didn't see it. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's change it. What do I cut for the two dismembers? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I saw Newton did that to. Um, I saw Newton did that to. Um, to Menguchi, I think, on one stream. <laughs> you don't think I need the paint, the, um, the engineer? But the engineer kills the welders, right? Well, it just, quote unquote, just kills the welders. Missionary. Yeah, so you're only cutting. Okay. Okay. I, th I thought it was good enough, but if you guys are. Are sure. Um, and I agree on cutting Vicio before Symbiote because Symbiote can, you know, can mean safety against Fury. 
yeah, let's send it that way. I'm not really sure about this, honestly. I don't, I don't know how good uh, this this four are, but definitely I have to. I have to keep an eye for, um, with the artisan progenitus interaction. That would be a really nice way to win, also on stream. <laughs> I have never done that on my leagues. The um, the pump your um, pump your artisan through through milling and then attacking. Uh, yeah, it buys you one turn, right? I think the best route to victory is Progenitus with Endurance Backup. Playing a way to force out their fury early. Yeah, this is a mulligan. Okay, I do like this hand. Mm. Votes for putting down one artisan? So I don't really want to miss my land drops. So candidates for bottoming are Dryad or Artisan too, I think. What do you guys think? Well, we have one shot with ones, of course, but... I, probably Artisan is the best to play around Fury too. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. So we do this, hope to find a cradle, and then we go for forest into Yanoa. Oh, I didn't mark this game. Okay. Hmm, Saga is interesting. But I think we have to take the cradle, right? Yeah. <laughs> My problem is I, I add new cards to the deck and I really want to play them out. <laughs> What is my water though? So much spamming and speaking. <laughs> Yo, Kalum, if you're up to you, you can. You, I, I'm officially inviting you to stream with me one day, and you can give me a master class in painter. <laughs> Nice dream. name black again. As you can see, I really need that masterclass. <laughs> okay, so so they play painter first. No red source. Hmm. Vale. So we can go grab a collector roof. Which would force definitely we don't die to the combo and they for it forces a it forces a fury. Thank you, Newt. I will be raiding you guys in a in a few moments. Thank you for coming by. So options here are getting collector or committing plus one creature. I think I like keeping everything in my hand and just uh, playing a collector. Probably that makes them use their removal. Newton said that we have to like force the, the the fury. So I think I'm going for the collector. Yeah, no no not play anything else to the board. So we can rebuild later. <clears throat> yeah, playing one artisan is really because if or real not the artisan, sorry. The um, the mystic because it's free with the cradle, and if we untap the, yeah, our hand is so so much better. Also, if we ever get to the birds of paradise list, when they add the molacks, I want to I want to. Okay, bueno, vale, perfecto. That is okay, I guess. Okay, now we have a problem. We just dead. We need like Poseju of the top. Uh, oh, never mind. We have the artisans. We can do the cool line, right?
Actually, we play everything? Well, they could have a Fury. I guess we can't play around the Fury. So we just play everything out. Okay, let's see. If we play both... Actually, keeping... Huh, funny enough, keeping both artisans will be our best chance to, 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 to win this. Pretty funny. Oh my god, are we are we actually doing this? Oh baby. Yeah, no fury. This is something that I want to ask some MTGO programmer or something. Because we you know Callum, we tested um Wheel of Sun and Moon. And it was a loss for the elf player. <gasps> A blocker. No me lo creo. Mm. Four, five, six. We have eight mana. No me lo creo. Exactly. No, but how MTGO handles it is give the elf player the option to to um, stack the 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 milled cards yeah i mean we have we have an no we don't we don't have an out no, we can't draw anything <laughs> i'm just going to yeah i'm just going to swing with with 44 power yeah yeah i know i know So yeah, the the actual the actual one out would have been to have one endurance in hand, right? And then endurance ourselves, and then you to have one life draw, right? Yeah, GG's. Nice game though. Okay, it's a bad matchup, so no hard feelings. Make them double champ and then endurance yourself. Yeah, that would be that would be really nice. <laughs> you you basic you basically you basically clean the board and have a whole a whole deck ready to be milled. <laughs> oh no! Okay, this is a fellow elf player. He might be streaming too, or he might be. Not be on else. Who knows? Um. Keep. Saga's pretty bad. But artisan. Mulligan in. Okay. He this um this pilot uh, killed me yesterday. He was playing nettle elves and he. Um, he <laughs> He played, uh, okay, so I played engineer, uh, played engineer, and he um, he was able to cast an Atual Order because he had like three symbiotes or two symbiotes and an Edel that survived the plague. And he got a uh, Apex Altisaur. <laughs> and he wiped my board with that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's Japanese tech right there. Okay, that's pretty natural. Ah, so sad I cannot pay the artisan with the saga. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, you know, Japanese. Just Japanese things. Yeah, 
So I'm sorry about game one, guys. I'm not very comfortable playing against Painter. It's not a matchup I, I, I know very good. Yeah. But they already, uh, they already came out of a similar board state once, so they could probably do it again. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, with that draw, probably not. So now we play Saga. We have Poseidon to answer their Cradle too, if they ever play it. <coughs> it's looking good. Okay. <laughs> Just. Let me just be sure we have it on the main deck. Right. <coughs> so Saga is going to be super high value here. Um, ramping up, ramping the cradle up too. All right, we're drawing cards, I guess. That is staying, definitely. Gideon, that's not living. We should have a death counter on Engineer. It's a shame we don't have the. Um, it's a shame we don't have the um, <laughs> the opposition agent right now. I guess I can do that later too. We can also play the cradle. Okay, let's see. We can get a grist. Three. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like bad, but. Actually, not if we don't play the cradle, we have like hoof next turn. I just want to kill that, that nettle sentinel just in case. Maybe a little greedy, yes. But they killed me before if I left. I literally, they literally, literally lo lo lost to them yesterday because I left um, bodies on board, which powered up their cradle. So this might look like a weird play, but I think the key is to not let them use the cradle. Of course, they could have like land drop into Grist, into minus with the Grist. <clears throat> We will see. We still have a snuff out. Okay, so we are playing net eleven. Did we? Uh did were we on the on the play or on the draw game one? I think on the draw. And this one we are on the play. Okay, morph, <laughs> morphing, morphing rangers. <laughs> There's the cradle. So we have a target for Poseidon. Well, maybe that's getting them a fetch though. This is not green creature, so they can they cannot. You know, that's a um, useful info, I guess. Since it's not green, they cannot tack it to you know. Sweet.
boom, no se haga target. <risa> And then we are ramping the token. Um, is <clears throat> so you need to have exactly. I don't think they play main deck Altisar though. So I don't know what their out could be. Okay, so right now they have more outs. They could have at least to break the engineer lock, they would need like fetch fetch for dryad into fetch for dryad into into Eno greased or into I don't know some weird sequence. So if they cast, <clears throat> yeah, maybe we just we should have like a pre-snuffed here. So it's gonna be a grist. <laughs> Not gonna lie, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, me lo creo. <laughs> okay, man, <laughs> this is good content, though. <laughs> this is good content, though. Um. Yeah, this is just okay. This is just the end of the party, right? Because it doesn't get to fight and enrage again, but that is good content. <laughs> that is definitely good content. Apex Altizar, man. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, the main deck Apex, Apex Altizar. <laughs> okay. So I know which, what the what the miniature of this video is gonna be, right? <laughs> the thumbnail. Uh, okay, let me just get back into the game. Um, collector out, bog out. I almost want to take out the saga, and we're definitely bringing in all the nafs. Two slots. Mm, this member probably not that good. I will bring in two thought pieces and that's it probably. Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. <laughs> you know, you are you know, you are here for the good content. <laughs> Apex Altisar. That is like you see you know they are extinct, right? They are extinct for a reason, guys. That card is crazy. I mean, it does make sense, right? Because uh, on board state, where, for example, Progenitus gets raised out, the Altisar can, you know, for example, against Initiative, it can probably wipe the board. It it will not win on the swing back. But it, it I know, I don't know. It, I'm definitely messaging him after to ask uh, to ask about how how it's been the Altisar for him. This is a mall. This is a turn to play engineer. I will keep. Yeah, yeah. So for sure it's a niche, any niche card, but it's very really fun. I have to say I, I I I had my copy on my binder, so if it comes to that, we are ready. <laughs> um I think we bought um, um, the Redundant Dork. So if we take Cradle, we can have, you know, um offensive line. Let's see. Sure, that is... Well, that can be pretty explosive, turn two. 
when I fake out this nav. I like I like how now since elf, uh, you know, the, the snuff is so popular or on the build, everybody you know is like like paranoid about the all oh, the fetch value. Oh no, <laughs> the nav out is coming right. Oh really? The double sentinel draw. That is actually a problem. They keep a one lander. No. They can go off from there. Oof. Oof. Okay. I almost want to name Dryad here. Is that crazy? Yeah, actually, it's crazy because if I name Dryad, they can they can go off with Needle. Needle, Needle Heritage. So this probably means they have like I know if they have Glimpse, Glimpse Heritage, they can go off from this pretty safely. So I think I have to name Elf anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's, I think it's closer than you think. Because... No, I actually would, would have made a setup turn also. So let's see, this way at least they can't combo, but we can still be enoled out, right? Okay, no, no, eh, no. Sweet. No attack either, right? Mm hmm. Sweet. Cradle? Okay, so that's that's why we kept the shipper. Of the cradle. Mm -hmm. That's pretty scary, not gonna lie. Even on this board. Um. I might want to uh, Boseju the Dryad? Well, he can't float the mana, so it's useless. No. No, I'm, I'm yielding the OT. Yeah, that was a good target for the Needle to name. So he can now bounce the Needles and get some draws. So they probably have NO by now. Okay. Pretty good draw. Mm. What happens if the if the Altisor fights the plague? It dies, right? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with, with with the last point of toughness, I guess. Um. I'm gonna play out one Boseju or what? Or should I? Mm, no, I don't think it enables me to do anything. I wanna keep it. Honestly, I'm scared about the Altisar again. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, we knew about that. True, true. I think it was the third. Okay. So I guess 
they have to start to jump with the um, with the other guys. I think I could have Boseyed you the arbor, but it's just the same. So let me see what you have. Mm -mm -mm. No black. Need one more jump, right? <clears throat> Seis, cinco. What's their hand like? I guess they can play a Birch Lord Morph to keep one. They still don't have six. So four mana. Bueno, pues one more turn, I guess. What are we doing in one? For the spreadsheet? Uh, a ver. So that was turn six, Lake Engineer. Uh, game one, we won. How did we win it? Ah, snuff out. Yeah. Well, I guess Plague did the job, but it, it, it was actually won by snuff out. So, yeah, okay. We're 1 1. So, going to game three. How, let me just check at um, where we queue. Let's check on Newton and Duke. Are they live? Oh yes, they are live. Oh, yeah. It's... Okay, I'll get back at you. Let's speed run the league so we can raid them. Oh, Mapson, nice. Okay, this matchup pretty good, I think, with the snuffs. Um, cutting agent uh, is definitely, um, you know. Uh, we take we take some some loss by cutting agent on this matchup, but I think the the three snaps uh, probably make 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 up for it. Snap are uh, snaps are like I don't know, effectively force of bigger against the force of will against the green decks. Yeah, I'll 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 DM you, um, Callum. So if you wanna make a stream together, I will be delighted, honestly. So thank you for coming by and see you next time. <laughs> nice. All right. So we lead with once. Plague engineer. Um, okay, so my plan is going to be pick cradle so I can fetch for Bayou and maybe they save the wasteland for the cradle. I don't think Plague really stopped their game plan. So I'm going to trust that they keep the, the wastelands for the cradle that they know I have because of the ones. And maybe the bayou stays. If they have the double, the, um, the mox opener with like wasteland, wasteland and mob. What the hell? Okay, they're not on green white. It's still pretty happy over their hand. 
But I would definitely put them on green white. Oh, nice. Okay. That's pretty good. Should we snuff right now? They do play some daces. Um, Cephalid, that is. So I think I'd rather do it now. And... So let's do it right now. They might want to fight over it. I don't know. If they don't, they are not right clicking right away. Okay, they don't. So I'm going to keep one more mana up for, for the dacing. And we're going to play out our creatures. And probably an engineer on the Falid. It's going to be quite good here. We still have the mana to 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 pay the case. Okay. Oh, so they had they had the combo turn one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a crazy start from them. I think I, are we are we killing it? I think I'm saving the snuff, right? So we can kill the with engineer and save a save one shot at the snuff out. I think I like that more. Right, that's that, that yeah, that looks quite good actually. So what happens if this gets forced? I can still snap, so that's okay. Yeah. So let's do this. Hmm. Okay. Any reason to do it right now? Any reason to not do it right now? Not how too good. All right. Um, soul guide pretty good on the matchup. Needle. Yeah, I can stop the combo in the combo. Progenitus, I do like it. Um, I do like some number of thoughts if I can afford it because they can play. They usually play a Thornforce package. Um. I think the matchup is not that fast, so probably I don't like endurance, and I don't like. I pro we probably don't need the full BFF. I I usually don't have the saga slots, so I usually just board like this, cut one shepherd because I think they are um, lower on interaction because they have to keep cards for the combo. But I think. I'm gonna cut the thought ceases for now. One ship, one, and keep the fourth enough. Let's see if that works. If the if the if the version is um, very combo centric, they usually don't play like other silver bullets like um, like engineer or you know other problematic cards. So maybe the maybe the um, the thought cease is not uh, as relevant. But definitely, you you know, everybody knows how good this card is. 
against Stoneforge deck. Okay. Oh, we keep in. We keep in. Vale. I mean, they have the na the nat draw, and we had the nat draw as well. <laughs> they had the natural turn two combo kill, but we have the, the oh, that's a bad draw. That's a bad draw. I guess we we will mm, make the bog into a saga later. <laughs> um, how how does the um, saga and the saga? Um, um, ¿Cómo se llama? Capítulo, the chapter go if you fetch it with Reclaimer. Um, the turn you fetch it, it gets one counter. So if I fetch it on their end step, I had I had I have a chapter two right away on my when I am tap right. If anybody knows, please. Or you can confirm the night the info. Okay, so I guess the plan is if we don't draw a land, the plan should be Turbo Plague. <laughs> because, yeah, Collector also stops the combo, but it only stops one half of the combo. Only stops the Shuko lines. Puedo cambiar. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's a long brainstorm. Mm. This is a deck I would like to learn, honestly. How many ticks is? Um, how many ticks is um, this deck? Where? Um, on Magic Online, of course. Where? Se valid. Four hundred ticks. Okay, really bad. Okay, so they don't know about the bog. So I think we go for a double ramp. Because even so okay, so if we play the if we play the artisan we cannot get engineer anyways. No, I think we're gonna go ramp once and then play Reclaimer. So we can turn Bog into Saga. Right. This could get dazed. Yeah, that that, that was a, stu a stupid sequencing. I should have played the Reclaimer first and then the Findorn because this is giving them a window to daze. And I know they play dazes, so. Of course, if they daze, they cannot combo kill us next turn. So maybe that's what they're debating. Okay.
plow. Sure. Okay. So if they plow that way, maybe yet they don't have it? I don't know. I mean, they, they could have it right now, because they untap play land. So you have to have... I mean, it's possible. So Illusionist, land drop into Nomad? No? Okay, sweet. Hmm. So I think we are forced to Grist. That's a valid, right? I think we are. So this is the piece that they ca they have to always have. I would think they don't have the other part because <clears throat> usually if you if you have to play the combo out in two in two turns, you wanna play the Cephalid last always. Because bo both way both combo both combo options require of the cephalid. So it's a A plus B combo where you only have four A's, but you have four plus B's. Okay, they have the four, so nothing mattered. The pizza brainstorm, wow. Okay, so if they have the nomad, we it's GG. It's Stoneforge. Okay. So I guess they just go get the Shuko, play it, and we lose. That is GG also. Just show me the Shuko and I can see it. They play the Shuko and they go here. Actually, yeah, that was not well executed by me. I should have let them. Well, I guess we're not on that at that point. But it's um, you know, there's a world where you have to let them mill the deck so you get full info. That's relevant. Um, I'm thinking maybe I want the ley lines and cut the the draw engine. Completely, right? But again, I don't think we have that much of a hurry. So maybe the mana is not that so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep half of the BFF. And cut on dorks. I'm also playing one more land than what I'm used to, so I think that's fine. So if we get the ley line, they just can't combo us. They have to win through Kaldra or other means. This hand is very good, I think. A lot of interaction. Where? Buenas noches. Okay, so we're getting the bayou. Bueno, buenas noches, te lo digo en plan como que si te vas, supongo que te vas. Por la hora que es. Pero bueno, yo acabaría ahí ahora dentro poco. Es la ronda 3. Bueno, pues we are a little bit down in mana, but our hand is gas, interaction wise. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say a thing. That would be pretty bad right now. Okay, that's quite good. It's 
So I think I I'm going to value the reclaimer over the soul guide here. So I'm let's let's sequence properly this time. So I'm going to play first the reclaimer to play around the days and then the soul guide. Okay, we have a land, so we don't have that problem. Can actually play both. Interesting. Or well, maybe just I just get an arbor out of this. <clears throat> Joder, it was easier when I when when I, when I already knew what I had to play. <laughs> so I think yeah, I think the reclaimer has to be played because it gets cradle next turn. Soul guide gives um protection. Right? From the combo. That's that's okay. So I'm gonna just play these. Get the I don't care. Get these and get that and pass. So On forward. So they're gonna get Kaldra probably because they know their combo line is dead. So they probably will go get Kaldra. And now we're gonna go get. We're gonna snuff it. And it's gonna be quite bad. We're gonna still be playing our own days here. This is another good piece of interaction. So we're gonna do this and play. This. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play everything out here. Because I want all my mana up. Oh man, I didn't I didn't realize. Oh I have to eat the collector of next turn. Oh man, it's too late for me. Excuse me guys, it's 2 a.m. here. I mean it does shut off their Shuko lines though. But that is really bad. So they wanna kill my artisan so I cannot kill my collector. Okay, that was really really bad. Oh my god. Ah, uh, what a punt. Plan was to eat the collector. A ver si te veo trincar. Me va a poner fino tú. Porque he jugado al collector y me acabo de apagar yo a mí mismo la linterna, tío. Es una cagada tocha. Y además me he jugado al bosillo. Pues bastante mal, la verdad. Let's try if I can fake that I draw something when I play the land here. But I think we're dead. Okay. He's bouncing the... Sure. No, I don't think he's plowing the um, he's plowing the collector. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. That's why I should have run this list one time at least before the stream. I didn't I didn't thought about that. Shutting on my own lantern that was pretty bad. No, no, el collector está, o sea, no es sin robar ni siquiera, es que 
es que él no me puede combar con... Sorry for Spanish. Es que él no me puede combar si tengo una linterna activa, ¿sabes? Porque su combo pasa por el cementerio y se me ha ido la pinza. Es que el primer día que juego con el paquete de saga, ¿eh? también te digo. Pero bastante mal, sí. Not gonna lie. Hardcast Force. Mm -hmm. So if I win this, probably we're not, we don't deserve the win. <laughs> It happens. No, no, sin más. Que nunca. Que es que el primer día que juego con la linterna, con el, con la saga en el deck. Normalmente no, nunca juego eso. Se me ha ido la pinza. Black mana? Sure. <laughs> What is he naming? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good draw. <coughs> so he has to kill us now. If we untap with hardis and we kill the collector. Bueno, es que ya tenemos un solar. We don't have enough mana to to hoof him yet. Okay. We should really have lost that game because of the bad play with Collector. But Lantern really would on the matchup. Okay. Joder, qué turno era, macho. Um, Plague Engineer, man. Plague Engineer um, ruling this league. Um, I want to apologize to Maps. <laughs> Where are you, Mapton? One second, guys. Uh, one second. Okay. Mono Mux, pues ni idea. Mm, I will keep because we have snuff once reclaimer ramp. Mm. 
So let's get by you, Dork. We keep snuff up. Hmm, <laughs> windswept. Nice. So is this maybe the um, initiative build with um <coughs> with um Stormforce package? Sí, puede ser Infect o, o lo que te digo. Hay un, una, una lista. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Hay una lista que juega Bant Stoneblade con jerarcas y los bichos de iniciativa. Mm. So, we play Reclaimer for sure. And... Probably artisan. Vamos a ver. Building the board with creatures is nice. So another another thing I was considering is was rather um, play reclaimer. So play reclaimer of the Yanowar, um, ramp mana of the forest, and then keep one mana up for. Um, to play around days. <clears throat> oh, vale, it's Infect. Okay, so Infect, Snuff Out is super good against Infect. Listener Elf, okay, so we just have to destroy whatever they pump. Okay, this is gonna be. If we if we find land, we can get engineer on um, Phyrexian. Okay, what about? Vale, 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 vale. Bueno, let's check this out. Qué 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 solar, chaval. Qué solar. MVP de la liga, claramente el del ingeniero, ¿eh? Bueno, es que quién juega ingeniero de base, ¿sabes? Y es que y, y, y lo peor de todo es que aún por encima que bueno, vale. Pues turn 3 engineer. <risa> Vale, mm, full is enough. Um, Progenitus is not really. So I think we can cut these, 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 and bring even more removal because life doesn't really matter. Vale. Six removals. <laughs> A ver qué tal infect con eso. Monomux se llama. Do we win the right roll? Yeah, we won the right roll. Vale.
Mulligan. Uff, Mulligan. No, no, no suelo meter porque ya tienes eh, ya tienes el, ¿cómo se llama? Bosello es una respuesta. Sí, esto, 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 esto es malísimo, pero... O sea, Bosello, como es artefacto, ¿no? La, la polilla dices el, el nexo, ¿no? A ver. Eh, card... Eh, eh, Nexus. Uh, no, ¿cómo se llama? Um, Ink Moth. Ink Moth. It can artifact creature. Yes. So, because it's an artifact. Eh, porque como es una criatura artefacto, pues la puedes matar con el, con el Boseiju. Que es buenísimo, ¿sabes? Bueno, y es una tierra también, o sea que también la podrías matar si no es artefacto, perdón. Pero bueno, el, obviamente el Dismember aquí es... Eh, Dismember y el Snuffout en este matchup son buenísimos. Y si en algún momento activamos el artesano a Firexian, pues te puedes imaginar. Más de lo mismo. Ah, vamos 2-1, ¿no? Sí. Oh. Ok. Vale, pues... We have one more setup turn. Um, I'm gonna probably just play the, the artisan here, just because if we ever untap with it and get the engineer is GG. <coughs> we will see. Vale. Vale, 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 vale. Pues we stay with the plan. If this gets days, it's going to be rough, but I think we have to play it. No days, sweet. So they have to kill us right now. Si hacemos champ, no, no metemos el artesano el próximo turno, el ingeniero. Entonces hay que pensárselo aquí un poco, a ver, depende de lo que hagan y tal, pero... Hmm. White mana, interesting. So maybe this is the list from um, Sam Dams, who I also met at ELM in Bologna, and he was really, 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 really nice. Is Swords and a Honey, the new a Honey with Infect. And probably it's a fairy also. For, so, you know, they can infect you with protection. Let's see. Okay, so uh, this is a gamble, I think. Um, sí, le voy a dejar, voy a dejarle Kendre porque, o sea, quiero decir, si le paro, no puedo hacer artesano, y si no le paro, le gano. Let's see. Vale, ok. That works. That works. We have this. <coughs> If he has Berserk, we lose also. 
Bueno, we can get... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Cositas, ¿eh? Cositas. Pues, and again, one turn clock. Like, if we untap, we get the... The plague. And that's the plan, I guess. The only difference is, is now we can afford to block. <coughs> Because even if we lose one one creature, we can we can add, activate artisan for a plague. A ver, el Berserk, ¿cuándo sabía que castearlo? Cal... Cast this spell only before the combat, da the combat damage step. Pues entiendo que da igual. So right now it's free, so we are blocking. Let me just do the math. One, two, three, four, yes. Vale, pues tiene el Berserk, entonces. Vale, pues GG. Game 3. Bueno. Y era combo deck, also. So, you know, we can... This happens. <laughs> Mm, I think I'm fine with this. Let's send it again. Argument to... Oof. Uno, dos, tres. <coughs> Cradle ramps one mana. Yeah, I think I keep, well... A ver. Turn one symbiote. Turn two artisan. Turn 3, fetch arbor with Misty. 4 mana. Yeah, it can work. So it's a turn 3 plague. But we have no disruption. Mana dorks are so good in this deck. Like um at the beginning I at the beginning when we included artisan on the on the list, I I didn't really like the dorks. Because it felt like going backwards. Like, you know, on the deck's evolution, but honestly I think it's been one of the best decisions we've we've had. Okay, so yeah, so so far the playing pattern is uh, what you can expect, we do this, do this, it's free, and now, if we untap, because, I mean, this is free because we are, we're not going, we cannot block with this, if we want to get a play, yeah, maybe we should have hold, hold the symbiote back. Anyways, they don't have um, an inf inflict creature, and they will not be able to attack with it at least for one turn, so maybe we are okay. Nice. Two turns then. Okay, that's the Miss Landrop. Sweet. Very sweet. They are on days.
Hmm. Vale, pues estoy con Sid. I guess they don't have an answer to uh, for the engineer, <laughs> and that's about it. That was turn. Turn four, maybe. Okay, last match of the night, and then we go raid our guys. We are on the play. It's nice. When I'm streaming, I all, I'm most of the time on the play. When I'm playing alone, I, I've, I've had two leagues, two consecutive leagues, where I didn't have a... Um, I didn't win a die roll. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this guy plays initiative. So this is the final testing for the list. And I think this hand is pure air. So we're gonna mull it. This is pretty bad, not gonna lie, but I think we have to keep it. So this is turn one shepherd, turn two. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna send the Poseid tube. No, I can't send the Poseid tube back. I have to send a shepherd. This hand is really bad. But you know, they might be they are maybe not on, on wide initiative. So I really don't like making those kind of keeps but yeah according to my spreadsheet he is on right initiative let's see Nice. Okay, so buying time, buying time is good for us. If we ever get to three lands, we're in a good spot. Um, Artisan is not really that great on the matchup, so I'm just gonna opt for doing this and getting Arbor, so we are, you know, like ramping when we get the Cradle, <clears throat> because the Artisan cannot really get any, you know, many meaningful cards here. Yeah, see, he is actually on initiative. Archon is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, that's like nothing really. But no, actually that's pretty good. So we play these. And we play the Tappet Cradle. <coughs> and that's it. So we need two turn cycles to kill them. Oh, never mind. If we sack the Arbor, we can get lethal here. All right. Okay, let's blockers. And I assume now they will play initiative creature. They did mulligan pretty hard, right? They mulligan to five. Oh, don't tell me we're winning this. Okay, so not play the Reclaimer because they have the Archon. So let's just do this. This will pump the Reclaimer. Well, actually, it will pump all the team. So they need to have a Solitude here. Or a Plow. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So the last card must be land then. We still get the pump, so that's that's okay. And we can't what? What? Dude. <laughs> that is so bad. Well, at least they don't have, you know. But they can only top the bombs, I guess. It's gonna be close. We can also get our snuff. Ese ganjo me ha matado tú, la verdad. No te voy a engañar. 
Okay, so actually we can get the um, hombre buen bait, no, que se moría, ¿sabes? O sea, bait, lo que es bait, no, no es. El, el pibe se, se moría. <coughs> bueno, pues here we will play this and not play the Boseyum because I think. Well, first of all, he would enter the battlefield tapped. I'm not really a fan of, you know, Spellbinder. Um, okay. 90% que no nombran Posey. Oh, sí, jugamos a ver. Ah, cogen el Green Sun, perfecto. No nos interesa el Green Sun. O sea, quiero decir que vamos a castear. Es como un mana, ¿no? Nuff out would be nice. That is quite good also. Mm. A ver. Bueno, que todo huela, ¿no? So this enters the battlefield untapped. <coughs> so, okay, let me... So we can kill this, get two mana, because we, we recover the reclaimer, and then activate the first one, and get... Um, an arbor, so we can play the green sun for gris next turn. I think we'll do that. Okay, combat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vale. Take back the reclaimer. Activate this, kill this, hit the arbor. Hostia, la saga, chaval, es verdad. <coughs> no tenemos target. Bueno, we get the arbor, anyways. They concede. Okay, nice. Vale, pues. Turn six. Beat down. Eh, dismember, dismember, snuff out, progenitus, cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this, that's it. Play pretty bad. But I think it's still better than artisan, right? Because it, it trades right away. And you can, you know, there are some scenarios where you can name um, human or... Uh, you know, one toughness things. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. Let's see how the six removal play out if we can win the initiative matchup ah we are three one two that infect player was you know bad <laughs> Las listas de iniciativas ya están estabilizadas o sigue habiendo fantasía. Buf, que va, que va. Hay boros, hay mono white, hay gente que lleva cáliz de base, gente que en vez de cáliz lleva espadas de base. Eh, hay algunas blanca negras que molan mucho también. Hay algunas con efemerar, otras sin efemerar. Que va, que va. O sea, todo ha no estabilizado, te diría yo. <clears throat> Oops. 
Voy a tener que tirar una moneda al aire para jugarla el 8. ¿Qué hay el día 8? ¿Me hago un evento? Bueno, habla con. Yo hablaría con. Mira, if you want to know what, who is the best or what is the best initiative uh, list, my advice is. Bueno, lo primero. Es que no sé con quién estoy hablando, perdón. Mira, únete a, a mi. O, únete a mi Discord o mejor que eso. Te voy a pasar un link de un artículo. So this uh, this article is from um, XJ Cloud, I think, and he made a pretty good guide on the initiative list. One moment. Uh... Where is it? Vale, aquí está. Copy link. A ah, coño. Perdón, Jorge. Mira, ahí tienes. Esa es la lista que yo jugaría. O sea, bueno, ese es el artículo que te he dicho. ¿No estás en mi, en mi Discord? Tengo un Discord ahí para los colegas. O sea, dime tú... Tu... Espera. Invite people. Copy. <coughs> Perdona, eh, pensé que te lo había pasado. Eh... Únete aquí. Ah, bueno. Ok, so we don't get to play. Opponent mult to five. To six. And considered. Pretty underwhelming. Um, but I have to say this is one of the best hands we can have against initiative. Because you can play Dork. I can't even draw. Anyways, a little bit of a bummer. Um, thank you for uh, everybody who, for coming by. <laughs> Sorry about that last initiative game. That was pretty underwhelming. I'm going to proceed and raid um, Dux and uh, Newton. Um, yeah, I will try to stream again later this week. See you. See you then. Thank you.